I'm learning to weld, and I've watched all the how to weld videos. But I really don't want to run line after line of beads on a scrap piece of steel. Argon's expensive, and I want something to show for my effort. I found some free plans to make an F-22 Phantom jet. The plans called for the jet to be made with foam sheet. But I thought, I should be able to make that out of steel. How hard could it be? Anyway, I went ahead and printed out the plans, cut them out, laid them onto some sheet steel, and then traced around them with a white pen. A plasma cutter is absolutely magic for this sort of a job. I just used a small straight edge and then proceeded to cut out the pieces. You can just see the little plasma cutter and TIG welder unit sitting on top of my welding stand there on the right. This unit does TIG, stick welding and plasma cutting, all for less than $400. Plasma cutter leaves a surprisingly small amount of slag on the back side. You can try knocking this off with just a, uh, a welding hammer, but I prefer to use the angle grinder to clean it all off. Here are the rest of the parts ready to be cut out with the plasma cutter. As you can see, there's lots of opportunity for welding practice. And plenty of plasma cutting action as well. Now the actual fabrication can begin. Lots of tacking practice and lots of panels that don't exactly match up. Making the whole process quite a challenge for a novice like myself. Now I'm making some progress. Quite a bit of the welding's done, but still quite a lot to do. As you can see, it's only a small model, but there's certainly a lot of welding to be done. I had a piece of stainless tubing that I was able to make the exhaust pipes out of. But then I realised the model had sort of a channel in the middle. So I just used the TIG gun to heat up the steel. And then uh, used a screwdriver and hammer to just hammer down a channel. This model is anything but pristine, but that's not the point. This is all giving me useful experience and fun in the process. Fabricating the cockpit proved to be quite a challenge. I just used a piece of paper to uh, roughly draw the outline and then it was just a bit of a suck it and see until I got uh, a piece of uh, metal that was about right. 
I'm cutting out a bit of stainless steel for this. So here's my attempt at the cockpit. I think it'll turn out okay. Not quite as big a challenge to make the nose. Here it is welded up. Pretty it isn't. So I decided just at the front part I'd dress the welds. But then I realised I couldn't tell the difference between the buffed up steel and the buffed up stainless. But I found if I heated up the stainless I'd be able to see the outline of the stainless parts. Now with the body completed, it's a matter of buffing it up on the wire wheel and then onto the wheels. I guess I could have dressed all the welds, but really that wasn't the point of this exercise. I need to leave the welds they are to show how bad I am at the moment. Every now and again, is an example of a weld that's almost not too bad. Following the metal theme, I've just made the wheels out of some steel and I've used stainless for the struts. Here's the model finished. After buffing it up, I've just uh, coated it with some clear lacquer. Is it perfect? Far from it. Is it a thing of beauty? Well, I reckon it is. It looks quite industrial. And I enjoyed the process. And I think that's the main thing. So much in life is about the end result. Well, for me, the process is the point of this exercise. So if you're a hobbyist and want some practice welding, then you can run beads on scrap or you can make a model. I prefer the latter. <laughs>